kalimutan lahat dyan. Sana po okay kayo. As for me, okay naman po tayo dito. And uh, for today's video, since medyo uulan yata kasi makulimlim, we will be doing an unboxing para hindi na tayo lumabas pa. We will be actually unboxing two uh, statues. So, without further ado, let's get into unboxing. So, sa so first natin na i-unbox, ito siya. This is from Diamond Select Toys. And, okay. In the name of his late parents, Bruce Willis wages eternal war on criminals of Gotham City. He is vengeance, he is the knight, he is Batman. One of the most iconic fictional characters in the world. Batman has dedicated his life to an endless crusade, a war on all criminals in the name of his murdered parents, who were taken from him when he was just a child. Since the tragic night, he has trained his body and his mind to near physical perfection, to be a self-made superhero. He's developed an arsenal of technology that would put most armies to shame. And he's assembled team of his fellow DC superheroes, like the Justice League, the Outsiders, and Batman Incorporated. Okay. This PBC diorama of Batman is based on his appearance in DC Comics. It is made of a high-grade plastic and features detailed sculpting and paint applications designed by Cesar and sculpted by Alderton. So, yan guys. Ito siya. So, it is also stated here that it is for ages 14 above. And, uh, actually, wala naman na. Of course, if ages 14 above, automatically, hindi nga talaga siya pwede, pwede sa Malit na bata, especially 0 to 3 because he all uh, parts. And then guys, open na natin to. By the way, oh, what's the difference of action figure, a figure, and a uh, statue? Well, a statue is a sculpture. Uh, bale, pag sinabi mo statue ng isang bagay, kan siya, ginawa siya ng specific designer. Merong specific na tao na gumawa sa kanya. Yan. So, that would be the statue. And, of course, it's not moving. And, on this, at, kaya nang sabi ko, ito, uh, designed by di design siya ni Cesar pero sculpted siya ni Alterton. So Ito siya. Siya ba look at it. Wow. It's not that heavy. Plastic kasi siya. Okay lang. Hindi siya ganoon kabigat. Good thing mahulog mo man, hindi siya mababasag kasi nga plastic lang siya. So, the painting is decent and um, very nice, very well uh, made. So, nakapatong yung isang paan sa gargoyle. Ayan. Tapos may mga ganyan-ganyan siya, matulis. Oh, really matulis. Pwede kang maprick. <laughs> so, ayan. Matulis, pero some are bending. Kasi nga, plastic lang na siya. Siguro sa packing. Anyway, it added to that special effect. So, tignan mo si Batman. Kompleto ipin, dami. <laughs> and he's holding his cape. As per usual. Nawala lang, napansin ko lang. Maybe it's just my opinion. Kasi nakawak-kawakan niya yung cape niya. <laughs> yan. So, this is the first statue. So, yan. We, I will turn it for you guys. Until the back. There you go. Boom! Yan. So, guys, this is... $89. So, convert that to peso. Um, sabi mo na, 35. Convert mo na lang sa peso. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
first stage na natin. But wait, meron pa tayong isa. So, again, this is from Diamond Select Toys. It's nice. It's really nice. The next one is the Kotobukiya Statue. It's malaki to. Yan. And this one is priced at uh, $229.90 for non-member and for members, $207. And yes, guys, member na tayo. And so, yes, member na tayo. Actually, um, lagi akong bumibili sa kanya. Most of my Funkos, if not all, I think all. Sa Simply Toys ko talaga siya binili. Oh, no, no, no. I have some na binili ko kay... Binili ko sa... Big Boys. Sa Pilipinas. I have, I think, three. Sa my Green Hills. Ayan, sa Pilipinas. But the rest, sa Simply Toys ko siya binibili. Pat ngayon lang ako nakapag... Member. That, kasi kapag bibili ka... Dapat may ma-accumulate ka na $300 na receipt sa kanila i-member. Ang problema ko, pag nakabili na ako, yung resibo na itatapod ko. Kasi sa Simply Toys dati, ang binibigundi ko lang naman talaga, Funko. So, matagal siyang mag-accumulate kasi hindi naman ako bibili ng hindi Batman. Eh, most of the time, pag Batman, madaling naman yung dating nila. So, ang pinakamadami mo na mabibili siguro, tatlo, apat, ganun. Pero hindi yung minsanan. So, yung Eventually, yung ha, haba ng explanation, basta ganun. Ngayon, nakahiligan ko na rin yung pagbili ng, ng statue. Siguro kapag statue yung bibilhin mo, mas madali mong ma-accumulate yung 300. Kasi isang statue lang, more than 300 ba, diba? So, yun. Ayun, basta. So, siya malaki. Sobrang laki niya. Hirap iwi. So, The Dark Knight Returns. Batman, Hunt the Dark Knight. So, craftsmanship, Kotobukiya. Ayan. The Dark Knight Returns 30th Anniversary. Andun. Bigat. Saglit. Ito naman, sculpted by Nosoki Abe. Sorry kung mali yung pagkakapronounce ko. Basta yun yun. <laughs> The Dark Knight Returns Batman Hand The Dark Knight stands nearly 12 inches tall. 1-6 scale, guys. On a special display base that really shows off the action of the scene. This Dark Knight duo looks great on its own or alongside any of other dynamic Batman statues from Kotobukiya like the Batman Black costume, ARTFX statue, or a the upcoming Batman The Dark Knight Rises ART FX Day 2 Sold separately So meron pa palang dalawa <laughs> So ito yung muna yung nakukuha natin yung si Batman tapos sa baba niya si Joker So yung nandito sa likod niya and storytelling mas mahaba to pero nakalagay dito yung nung company uh, Kotobukiya Japanese Import As one of the most popular comic book superheroes of all time it is no surprise that the Dark Knight has appeared quite frequently in Kotobukiya's lineup of DC Comics ART FX Art Fix Fair uh, I'm sorry Waiting ko Ngayon ngayon lang ako bumibili pa ng CQ kaya hindi pa ako ganun ka knowledgeable sa mga ito <laughs> Now Bruce Wayne is back in an incredible reimagining of one of the key scenes in the masterpiece The Dark Knight Returns Batman Hunt the Dark Knight A fourth issue miniseries released in 1986 Batman the Dark Knight Returns tells uh, the tale of a future world in which superheroes have retired. An older, an older, angrier Bruce Wayne puts on the costume once again to save Gotham City and in the process encounters one of his greatest enemies, the Joker. Inspired by the graphic novel, gritty style, and Joker presents a dark dynamic vision that will look great on your shelves. The Dark Knight Returns Batman is much thicker and heavier than the most representation of the characters and that's quite apparent here. The bulky Dark Knight stands over the, the prone Joker, holding him down with one hand on his collar while pulling the other back in, in the preparation for another strike. Perfectly recreating that artwork, the statue is intricately detailed with special attention to Batman's powerful musculature. Ayan! The rampant blocking of the evil clown, the furious expression on the dark hero's face, and of course, the Joker's maniacal laughing. The painting reflects the striking artwork with stark colors and bold strokes. Yun! Ang haba! Basta yun, sana naintindihan nyo. So, yun yung nakalagay. 
dito sa may likod. So, buksan na natin kasi hindi ko siya mabubuksan sa baba kasi you can see. Iba yung kanya. Pagkakagawa ng base niya. So, no charge tayo. Dito tayo sa taas magbubung kas. Laki. So, to guys, for sure, mas mabigat na to kaysa yung ha, mabigat nga. Pero hulog, pero hulog. Baka mahulog. And yung likod niya, artwork sa likod niya, it's actually nice. Yung isa kanina, logo lang ni Batman. Ito, meron yung Tawa-tawa ni Joker. So, yan. So, magalis muna tayo ng mga cable. Lagyan pa nila ng cable para hindi mo. Yung mga ganito siya. Mga ganito siya, guys. Yan. So, tanggalin muna natin ng cut. Ang ganda. Mm. Diba? Mas matanda na ngayon dito si Batman. Ayan. Pakita ka doon. Ayan. Tapos, si Joker. Ayan. Tawa pa more. <laughs> so, ganyan pagkaka- display niya. Ang ganda. <laughs> Ang galing ng pagkakagawa. Sobrang detalyado. Ganda, ganda, sobra. Ang hindi ko lang nagustahan tong base niya. Nagmamukhang cheap. Pero feeling ko, hindi din kasi siya makikita kasi nga, matatakpan siya ni Joker. So, parang stand na lang niya talaga. Ganun naman tayo. The last time na nagganito, nahulog ko yung statue. Ayan. So, ganyan siya, guys. Kaya, hindi na nila binigyan ng masyadong uh, one yung base. Kasi nga, matatakpan din lang. Kasi nakahiga si Joker. Pero, yan, yan siya. Ganda, no? Mm. Sa likod. This view. Ayan. And that's it. Boom. Another statue. So, nasabi ko ba kanina, kung, yun nga, pag statue guys, may certain na taong gumawa. May, it's either sculpture molded, casted by special person. Ang pangalan sa isang tao. Well, an action figure actually is that yun yung mga nagagalaw. Nagagalaw mo yung action figure nga. Nagagalaw mo at least one na part ng katawan niya. So, kagaya nito. This is from Hot Toys. This is an action figure. So, nagagalaw yung katawan niya. Si Adam West. Ayan. Pag figure naman, eto. Siya sa representation. Hindi mo siya pwedeng sabihin na action figure kasi wala siyang nagagalaw na part. Kung anong pagkakagawa niya, pagkakabili mo nung nagawa siya, ganun na yun. Not unless siguro baliin mo tapos iglo mo yung mapapalitan mo. Ang tawag naman sa mga ganito, figure lang. So, it represent Batman. So, it's a figure. If it's an action figure, at least one part of the body is moving. Uh, articulate mo, mo. That's an action figure. 
And as they do is, yun yung may, may certain na tao na nagumawa sa kanila, nag-design, or, um, it's either molded, casted, ganun. Two of these, hindi sila numbered. Ibig sabihin, hindi sila exclusive. So, kaming na-release na ganito. It's under their respective brand. So, yun guys. Uh, yun yung unboxing natin ng dalawang Batman. And, hope nag-enjoy kayo sa pagbukas natin sa sa mga stages natin. Well, until next time guys, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe, comment, like, share. Till next time. Bye-bye.